also cooking and cleaning for their man this kind of role i wouldn't say most younger ukrainian women it's really that common i like to joke that uh italian men cook better than ukrainian girls <laughs> Привет, привет, greetings from Odessa Mama on the shores of the Black Sea. Here you can see the port behind me. And it is late September and that is another amazing Indian summer's sunset that's going on over there just about to happen. So the weather has been phenomenal this uh, summer, at least at the end of the summer in Odessa in Ukraine. And in today's Vodka Vodka with me, Connor Klein, I'm going to outline something that's probably going to crush a few myths that is where do you find the most traditional women in eastern europe because in spite of all this marketing of ukrainian women that they are the traditional uh wives to be waiting for their western white knight to come and save them from terrible ukraine and all they want to do is just cook and clean for their man forever no divorce pump out lots of kids and I live in america that is not actually the reality and most guys who are veterans who are coming over suddenly realize that but there are other parts of Europe where women are a bit more traditional in that sense so I'm going to outline it I'm going to try and make it really focused because actually I was discussing this with one of my former clients and you know some of the guys also were on my online programs and really you can down, go down a rabbit hole on this topic and speak for hours that is actually I guess the advantage once you have a little bit more experience and you're enrolled in one of my programs or you know we're uh, working together in some capacity either in a coaching program or maybe in-person experience then we can discuss these things as far as I'm really going to depth but the purpose of a YouTube video I uh, definitely want to keep it focused and you know a little bit more easier to follow uh, for guys um, who may maybe you've never actually been to Ukraine maybe you've been here and you haven't been to other parts of Eastern Europe that I'm going to describe a bit and it's actually gonna be really eye-opening just the fact that there are women who are actually a bit more traditional in places than here so the reason why in general any discussion this that I find goes down a rabbit hole is we get into what is traditional and the word traditional means so many different things different people depending on your own background maybe where you're from maybe uh, your own personal beliefs um, maybe also you have religious beliefs I mean oh men and women should behave in a certain way and that's not really uh, clear as a definition obviously definition of what is traditional like you could say the Taliban uh, since they just took over Afghanistan maybe two months before making this video or a month just over a month ago uh, those guys are definitely damn traditional but uh, who wants to go <laughs> who, who in my audience wants to go and live in Afghanistan at the moment I don't think there are going to be too many takers on that in spite of it being really traditional and them enforcing traditional values why because that's not the kind of traditional values that I'm guessing that you're into since you watch my channel and my vodka series it's obviously a very different definition of traditional like we like listening to music for example from what I understand that is not uh, <laughs> normally the case that you're allowed under a Taliban ruled country and I think a lot of the, the, the use of this word traditional is just to put it in contrast to say a lot of the radical feminism that we've seen in the West uh, and to say that oh yeah I want a traditional woman uh, i.e. not a radical feminist well that's not very um, clear because um, I'll give you an example there's another youtuber here obviously on this platform who runs a romance tour company of sorts and uh, he was talking in one of his videos about he got these requests from a guy who said uh, wanted virgins uh, in Ukraine um, and how could uh, this youtuber help him find virgins and the youtuber was absolutely shocked that he judging by the reaction of the video that he was even asked about virgins um, but if you think about it well traditionally women were expected to be virgins on their wedding night so in fact this guy was just asking for a traditional woman of sorts then and the, it's kind of funny because this youtuber loves to use the word traditional all the time as well <laughs> so obviously in this other youtuber's mind the word traditional does not mean being a virgin in fact it means probably being somewhere around a second second wave feminist in fact uh, if you look at the history of women's uh, emancipation in the West so it is a very tricky word we go down a big uh, rabbit hole about it but you know there are parts of Eastern Europe where actually 
being a virgin uh, when you get married as a woman is still the norm. Uh, it's just not here in Ukraine. So let me maybe, you know, sum up exactly uh, why this description of Ukrainian women uh, more or less doesn't make sense in the fact that they're traditional and then I'll go on to discuss a little bit where the women are a bit more traditional in Eastern Europe. So the first thing as you've probably guessed already in general Ukrainian women are not virgins until they get married. Uh, I'm not saying that women should be a virgin when you get married. I'm not saying you should look for virgins. That's completely your prerogative who you're looking for and for the women to decide themselves as well. Uh, but in general uh, I have met Ukrainian girls who were uh, virgins when I met them. Um, and I deflower them, shall we say. Well, this happened maybe twice in all the time I was here. And um, yeah, they weren't waiting actually to get married necessarily, they just weren't as sexually experienced. Uh, so it does happen, that, but that could also happen in parts of Southern Europe, I find. So I don't think it's really any different here on um, being a virgin versus non -gern. It is not. Uh, it is not very common in Ukraine that women wait until they get married, for example, uh, to, uh, to lose their virginity. Also, things that are not really traditional here in the sense that divorce rate is over 50 percent. Not traditional. <laughs> if you get married that you're getting divorced uh, with that high frequency. Also the birth rate is about 1.3 uh, in Ukraine. It's a sim similar in uh, say Russia and Belarus. Um, so that is actually in general lower 1.3 children per woman and that's actually lower than in the West in general. Again by the way divorce is actually higher here than in the West in general as well. So again it's not like they're traditional you know the traditional view role historically women was uh, primary well obviously they are the ones who give birth to children but uh, you know high birth rate would be I think associated with most traditional societies uh, as long as the kids can survive but definitely uh, when you see a birth rate of 1.3 here like where I grew up in Ireland it's 1.8 for example uh, so they're definitely not having massive families either in Ukraine which is something that you would think would be more traditional at least I associate it with being more traditional and also I very rarely meet Ukrainian women maybe it's just the women I meet but uh, you know I haven't met my clients meeting very women who are say more conservative in the sense religiously conservative and go to church every Sunday. Uh, definitely most Ukrainian women have no problem showing off lots of skin. If you've seen on Instagram also walking around here they don't uh, they're not particularly covered up I would say um, by European standards uh, and obviously on a global scale they you know as I said and being a virgin is not necessarily a thing here nor are one night stands uh, a rarity in Ukraine. I'd say they're a little bit less than in the West but it's not dramatically different and I'm going to discuss obviously after this the other regions where that is a lot more common and so in general to say that and they're also not by the way waiting around for some Western right night in general uh, just dreaming to be t flown off to America that's not really a thing anymore. Also cooking and cleaning for their man this kind of role I wouldn't say most younger Ukrainian women it's really that common. I like to joke that uh, Italian men cook better than Ukrainian girls <laughs> in general. It's just my experience, also experience my friends and clients here. So this kind of traditional uh, image that is promoted by dodgy marriage agencies and this whole, you know, Ukrainian bride industry, it doesn't match up, especially with women from big cities like Odessa or Kiev, the capital, who are say under 30. Uh, I would say yeah it's not in really any different from the West and uh, over you know obviously you can go out to the countryside, countryside and women are going to be uh, a bit more traditional maybe a bit more homely uh, in that sense but you know you'd have to go to a pretty small village I think nowadays actually one of the guys on uh, one of my online programs on the live streams we have he quipped the other night that uh, there's no girl in the world who's access to a smartphone and the internet who's traditional and it's kind of true in our these days uh, to say that. So um, of course if you go to the smaller towns or if they're a bit you know women over 40 might be a bit more traditional in that sense uh, maybe because they grew up more in the Soviet times we didn't have access to as many things but nowadays younger Ukrainians would say definitely under 30 in Odessa, Kiev or big city not going to be that traditional in that sense. Where they are a bit more traditional and say in the West is they tend to be more opening open to sacrificing their career for example uh, when the, their children are young even though they actually don't have that many children in general it's usually one or two maximum uh, and so that is maybe a bit different from what I see from the West and they have less of an issue I think with being 
financially dependent on a man. They see that more as a man's role to be the financial provider. That doesn't mean that they're all hanging out here unemployed, just trying to catch, you know, pick up, uh, get a, a guy who has lots of money. Of course, you do have women like that here. You also have them in the West who are doing that. Uh, so I don't think it's particularly different. Maybe it's a bit more common here. And also there's less social stigma to being, say, just a housewife. Or you said just a housewife uh, and not having a career. I think there's less uh, culturally um, frowned upon as opposed to in the West, where that's probably a bit uh, unusual nowadays to, to not work at all. But there are women, of course, who do that in, in all countries. Also, you have house husbands in, <laughs> in the West. Um, that's definitely a thing that you don't see so much here. But you often do see that um, some guys, uh, it's not like the, the Ukrainian Russian guys here, the Eastern European guys, don't help out at home and just sit around drinking beer while the women go around and hoover under their feet. Uh, from what I can see, that's also not really that common nowadays. They more see, um, you know, they see more of a gender di dichotomy than we see in the West in terms of household chores and child rearing and whatnot. But it's not 100% like men do nothing at home, women do everything, and then the men are the only ones working and the women are not. Uh, it's kind of more of a, a mixture with more of, I would say, uh, men playing a bit more of that traditional role than in the West for sure. So where should you go if you want more traditional women than you're going to find in general in Ukraine? Now, I don't want to say there are no traditional women here or anyone's to definition of traditional but there's definitely a scale of more probability where you're going to find it like i love to joke you could find a radical feminist in ukraine and date her but the chances are pretty rare radical feminism is not really a thing here uh so you're if you look we're looking for and i'm assuming you're not since you watch my channel a radical feminist probably better off living in london or paris in stockholm in new york city you know, Los Angeles, if you were looking for radical feminists, you're more likely to find one than here. Uh, and where are you more likely to find as that guy who wrote uh, or had a conversation with the other YouTuber who, particularly, who loves to talk about traditional women in Ukraine, but was shocked by the idea that he would have to, you know, try and find girls who are actually virgins. Uh, if you were, where should he have recommended that he go to? Well, uh, there, that's the Black Sea behind me. Now, if you were to follow it all the way around, you're going through, you're going to get to southern Russia. First, you're going to get to Crimea and to southern Russia, then all the way around to a country called Georgia. And that is in a region called the South Caucasus. Now, whether it's Eastern Europe or not, for me, it's just about me, just about Eastern Europe. And it's in the former Soviet Union. You have the southern Caucasus region and also the northern Caucasus, which are in Russia. So, so southern Caucasus is Georgia. Azerbaijan and Armenia. Now there it's a mixture of different cultures, uh, not just those three. There's lots of different ethnicities within them or the four if you include Russia. And you have a mixture in terms of religions. You have uh, Christians, like G most Georgians tend to be Christian, Armenians are Christian. And uh, you know, then you have a lot of Muslims, maybe Azeris, or we know uh, probably across the, you're probably aware of across the board, you have Dagestan and you have Chechnya where pe people tend to be also quite conservative Muslims. Uh, in that region, for sure, you will find women who are a lot more traditional than you're going to find here in Ukraine on average. There's actually going to be a marked difference. Now, um, you know, I've been to those countries, but uh, I've never been to the North Caucasus. So I haven't been there yet where Chechen and Dagestan are. Um, but I've been to Azerbaijan, Armenia and to Georgia. And I was actually pretty uh, surprised about how conservative and traditional uh, even in the capital Yerevan, for example, Armenia is. So my own experience with dealing with uh, or interacting with Armenian women is that they are way more traditional than what you're going to normally find in Ukraine or most big cities in Russia or, say, Belarus. Um, over there, actually, most women uh, are probably still virgins when they get married, or at least the guy that they get married to. Like, they really want to be in a long-term relationship before they would have... Uh, sex with a guy and you know watching some other youtubers who spend a bit more time there uh recently there are very few videos about this which is an interesting point i'll come to in a second uh and yeah the biggest complaint by foreign guys who move to yerevan is they can't get laid <laughs> they basically can't have sex with the local women why because they don't have sex in general before they get married and that is the capital so imagine you went out to a smaller town uh i've been to also to georgia and to azerbaijan as i said and i think it's maybe a little bit more liberal and a little bit more uh, non-traditional in those two a bit uh, in my experience 
uh, in the capitals. Now again, if you go out in the countryside, it's going to be more uh, traditional and again. And also the divorce rates in those countries are pretty low. Um, so there the women and the women in general see their role as more of a traditional gender role of being uh, more of a housewife, I would say, than here in Ukraine. Doesn't mean that they don't want to work, all of them. Again, I'm just dealing with what is more common in those countries. Also, by the way, if you go to Belarus, it's a little bit more, I would say, traditional than Ukraine, or again, a big Russian city. And of course, you can go to rural areas in Russia, where again, it's going to be more traditional, or the North Caucasus, Caucasus where it's again, more, you know, more that traditional, like in the South Caucasus. So I think the, I mean, Maybe that's a surprise to you. Uh, one of the things that I always get from guys when I kind of challenge them a little bit about, well, if you want traditional values, why are you in Ukraine? Why don't you go to uh, the Caucasus in general? And say, oh, you know, I'm a Christian and there the women are Muslim. It wouldn't happen, but that's not true. <laughs> there are lots of Christians living in the Caucasus as well, Armenians and Georgians. So why is it that we don't hear about the traditional women there? So I looked online and I searched in English and then in Russian. And I basically could not find a matchmaker, a marriage agency trying to match Western men with Armenian women or with Georgian women. And uh, the reason is why not? Because that, you know, since there's this behemoth industry here in, you know, especially with Ukraine, uh, uh, you know, trying to match Western men with the traditional ladies of, um, and I use the word lady there because that's what normally the scammy marriage agents, they always love to refer to all women here as the ladies. So that you're the gentleman, you take out the cash and start splashing it. And yeah, why aren't they marketing Armenian women? Well, to be blunt, there are two reasons. And why I'm using the word blunt is I've been to Armenia and I've met lots of Armenian women also living abroad. And I have to say on average, they are not the most beautiful um, in the world. So probably I'm going to get all this hate message now from the Armenians, but just on average, yeah, Armenian women are not as busy going to find in Ukraine and Russia. And the second reason should be pretty obvious in this, why they're not marketed. Well, actually they really are traditional and that's actually not as attractive for most of the guys who are coming here in reality. It's nice to talk about traditional values, but uh, judging by the reaction also that youtuber the fact that they might actually be virgins and might actually insist until marriage actually tends to put off a lot of guys of going there and i've spoken to friends who've been to the caucuses and you know they i said why wouldn't you say live there or whatnot um you know look for maybe try to meet a girl there and they were just like yeah the women are not as attractive as in ukraine or belarus or russia <laughs> so they're not interested even if they like to think that they want a traditional girl, just not that traditional. So, um, kind of a fun video and in some ways maybe a shocking video for you that I would say that there's the other parts of Eastern Europe where the women are more traditional. I could have gone further and said we can go to Central Asia, uh, but trying to keep it again, not going down a rabbit hole. And of course, uh, across these, uh, there's obviously a gradient, you know, if you go from big city like here in Ukraine to the countryside, obviously, you know, you go to provincial Russia uh, or you go to Belarus, there's gonna be a different gradient in terms of being traditional uh, in terms of you know the behavior of uh, women how liberal they are maybe an emancipated versus how maybe uh, unemancipated traditional they are that tra traditional uh, female role in society and obviously then you can have another difference depending on the age because your women tend in these countries to be a lot more uh, untraditional than women are older but if you really 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 want to go to the place where women are more traditional i would say go to armenia it's probably seen the most traditional of the countries that i've been to in the former soviet union uh in europe so maybe we're going to see some armenians who might watch this video decide to open a matchmaking service a marriage agency <laughs> matching western men with armenian brides who are traditional uh, and um yeah that would be interesting to see if it would actually work whether Western guys really want a really traditional woman, a more traditional woman than they find here in Ukraine. Uh, but anyways, if you want to go in more detail on these kind of subjects and discuss these things for a more depth, you have a few options. I think the most pertinent one is Conciliary Connor Package, where basically we jump on a series of live calls together one-to-one -to -one and you know I revamp 
your Instagram and your Tinder account for coming here to Eastern Europe. You basically then get me like in your pocket, basically because with your phone, you will have access to me over WhatsApp. And then we can discuss in great detail all these different uh, topics. But the most important part is I instill in you the real man mindset that is key for dating success in Eastern Europe. Whether you happen to want to go to Armenia, uh, where the more traditional women are, or you want to come to Ukraine or Belarus or Russia or somewhere else in Eastern Europe. Also, I have my online programs, of course. Uh, that's actually been the genesis in part for today's uh, podcast. And I will link those all down below if you were planning if you are desire to 5x your lifestyle by spending three to 12 months in a country in Eastern Europe like Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, or Moldova, definitely check out the links down below. And I will see you in the very next video. Got a beautiful sunset that just went over the horizon in Odessa, Mama. Desvidaniya, dopobacha. See you in the very next one. Ciao, ciao. Sar experience.